Uh, cultural appropriation is the story of Western civilization. Uh, it's it's the story. It really is. I mean, it's the story of Western civilization growing and expanding and taking into account other ideas that are that are better uh, over time. This hatred of cultural appropriation that, that I'm seeing is an anomaly to me. And I really want to know is uh, why does the left, why is the left so repulsed at the idea of celebrating culture? So I think that the left is, is focusing in on cultural appropriation because, again, this goes back to the idea that we can only identify as members of groups, right? That we can't identify as individuals who can actually supersede our genetics or our environment or the group to which we are born. Uh, and so what the left likes to do is because they, here, here's the, the short story of intersectionality. Uh, it, it began a long time ago. Uh, it, it, the, the beginnings of intersectionality basically lie in Marxist theory. So Marx believed that there would be a class war that allowed the underclass to destroy the system. That never happened because it turns out capitalism makes everyone wealthier. So instead, the Marxist left decided that they were going to use various racial groups to do this. So in the 1960s, there's a real movement to separate various groups. Women were victimized by the system. Blacks were victimized by the system. And there's truth to some of this, right? In the 1960s, it's not true now. But the idea was that all of these groups were victimized by the system. You bind them all together, and then they will all go fight against the man. Uh, and so group identity became paramount. Your identity as a member of the group was the key thing. So Clarence Thomas is not really black because he doesn't act like a quote unquote real black person because he's conservative. Right? And you see that, that you know, there's even talk that people like me are not really Jewish because I'm, because I'm on the right. Which, of course, is absurd, especially considering that 70% of Orthodox Jews are on the right. Uh, so what the idea here is that if you were to accept cultural appropriation, if you were to accept that we're individuals who can like certain things from different cultures, then those artificial barriers fall immediately. Right? If we can all take from what we like from each other's cultures, then that means as individuals, we are not bound within these false confines that the left has created for us. And so they have to reestablish these, segregation, these uh, segregation notions that we cannot appropriate anything from this culture or this culture, that if something's good for that culture, it must be specific to that culture. All that does is it condemns people to a life of living within certain boundaries that may or may not be good because certain things from other cultures are fantastic and better than what's in your culture. Uh, cultural appropriation is the story of Western civilization. Uh, it's, it's the story, it really is. I mean, it's the story of Western civilization growing and expanding and taking into account other ideas that are, that are better uh, over time. I think that's, that's why Western civilization is, is so dominant, is because of things like cultural appropriation.